After the bleakness of war and the continuance of rationing, the post-war Conservative government realised that British industry would have to compete with far leaner manufacturing and better technology, principally from the United States. Like now, the answer was to concentrate on small to medium-sized companies and to encourage them to adopt new technologies. Among the organisations that were set up to accomplish this was the Product Engineering Research Association, or PIRA for short. PIRA's method was to commission several mobile cinema buses which would visit companies and educate them on the new technologies. Films would be played within the cinema with supporting displays shown in the trailer that accompanied the towing unit as they toured the nation's factories. And from promoting technologies from atop a bus, the company is still involved with promoting technologies to small to medium-sized enterprises. Back in 1946, when we were founded by the Winston Churchill's government, uh, we were a state-owned organisation, so entirely owned by the relevant department within government at that time. Uh, it wasn't until the early 80s and the rise of Mrs Thatcher that a lot of research associations were basically moved from being state-owned into a membership organisation. We're a new product development contractor, so we basically develop uh, new products and sometimes new processes for companies uh, to meet their market briefs. Products such as the Rapid Cool, which cools canned drinks down from room temperature in just 15 to 20 seconds. We're going to try this and get this can down to a nice cold temperature. Go? Please do. So it slots down in yeah. here. Push it, push it in. Yeah, make it click. Right. So we've got a, a 25 second cooling yep. cycle set up. Yep. So if you just want to flick this little switch here, Chris. Yeah. Now we can see this yeah. uh, yeah. working and you can see yeah. the display charging and I will that I'll put that lid back on to save your suit. Now this shall finish. Wow. Now that. Is that cold? It's very cold. Another technology which PIRA is developing is a novel type of electric vehicle which would be suitable for commercial drivers. Uh, the safe drive uh, electric motor technology that we're developing here uh, for uh, a group of SMEs and uh, SME trade associations is a high torque uh, electric technology but also very low voltage so it's an intrinsically safe technology and it, it, we're developing it more for uh, vans and small delivery vehicles that you would uh, perhaps use in the future uh, in cities so that uh, the carbon footprint of large vehicles uh, go, uh, it comes down. So what it, it, we're developing is a motor drive technology, a motor which we've demonstrated at the Geneva Motor Show with driving electronics and battery technology. So it's very important that we, we take the theory and build prototypes and demonstrate them on vehicles so that we can see that this technology has got a chance of actually making itself to the marketplace. A further role which PIRA plays is R&D funding for small companies and it has access to Horizon 2020 funding available from the EU. Compared to back in the 50s, say, for example, is that there's much more money available for investing in new technologies and particularly startup organisations. Um, there are many, many, you know, we often talk about the fact that we don't have a shortage of access to funding. What we have a shortage of is organisations with the right quality of ideas that are both technically feasible and have a real opportunity to dominate in the marketplace. So Horizon 2020 itself is a 70 billion programme 70 billion euros of funding for research and development over the next six or seven years. And within that, there's specifically a budget ring fenced for SMEs. And that's there to help those SMEs, in the first instance, in phase one, validate their idea. It's a 50,000 euro lump sum that they get to spend over three to six months to validate that their idea is technically and commercially feasible. If they're successful in validating their idea, they move seamlessly through into phase two, which offers them between one and three million euros to start to build the first set of prototypes and the first batch, if you like, of their products. And then finally, in phase three, the dedicated SME instrument actually gives them a window, a portal that they can go through to seeking further investment from other European institutions or even private investors. 